Hey, how are you guys? How are you this morning? Welcome to a Facebook Friday Live with me, Carolyn Benny, your Australian Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I am here live in my craft room ready to share with you a super fun little card that is kind of a little bit weird because it's got me on the front of the card, or at least mini Carolyn me. So um, here, here I am. What do you think? <laughs> Good morning, Shannon. How are you? I'm just going to make sure that my video is where it's meant to be and tune in so I can see the comments. I hope you guys are well. It is a sunny morning this morning here in the Adelaide Hills. It is um, been raining and storming and it's been nutso overnight and we've woken up to this beautiful, lovely day. So I'm really happy about that. Makes me feel happy. Good morning, Katrina. How are you? So as you're coming on in, say hello. Tell me where you are watching from. Tell me if you're new to my Facebook live show. I love that you've joined me. I'm very grateful for that. I'm just going to fiddle with my screen on my laptop as well. So I have a lap. I have everything going here. I have an iPhone. I have a laptop. I've just popped my iPad on charge. It is great. The technology involved in these things is, is phenomenal. Hey, Patsy, how are you? Welcome. Hey, T, how are you going? Hey, Tara, good, oh, you're, good evening. Well, good morning back at you. Um, uh, thank you for joining us here. So, you know, I used to do a lot of, um, hey, Lou, how are you? I used to do a lot of, um, Oh, I've just realised I've got a little mark on my card. Don't know how that happened. Usually it's children. I blame them for all of the stuff. Um, I'm using a little eraser there and it's come off. Fabulous. Um, so, hey, Wendy, how are you? So, I used to do a lot of punch art. Um, and I haven't done much punch art lately. And I do miss it. And yesterday I was thinking, what am I going to do for my Facebook um, live class because normally I have lots of ideas. I was just flat out of ideas. So I wanted to use the Share What You Love sweets that are currently on special at the moment with Stampin' Up! And I wanted to share some stuff with you um, with that. But I just didn't feel like flowers. I just didn't feel like it. Hey, good morning, Helen. How are you? Some days you don't feel like flowers. And a few of you gave me some really good ideas. Um, lovely as a tree. I know Shannon was wanting me to do something with. I'll tell you, I struggle with lovely as a tree. Now, you guys are all going to kill me, right? But I only bought it. Like, I've been a demonstrator for nine years. And I only bought it last year. And uh, I think I've used it once. And I don't think I actually kept that card. I think I threw it out. Is anyone with me? Is it, Does anyone struggle with lovely as a tree? I mean, I know it's fabulous. I know it's, I know it's Christmassy. I know it's all the stuff, right? I get it. But I just, I'm just not, I'm just not there. <laughs> you know, I know I'm going to upset you guys. Wendy's saying it's one of her lovely, her favourite sets. I know. It's just not mine. <laughs> Anyways, so I couldn't, I just wasn't inspired by, um, I own it, you know, I'll challenge myself. That Maybe that's my challenge. Yeah, T saying, they're all going to turn on me, aren't you? T saying, I love that set. <sighs> Sorry. We can't all like everything, can we? Anyways, so um, I thought I'd challenge myself, right? Thought I'd do something a bit different. Got out my punches. Love my punches. And, but I still wanted to do something with this sweet. It's called Share What You Love. And it's very pretty. It's, it's kind of my cup of tea because it's got some fabulous colours in it that I really love. Mint Macaron, which is a returning colour. We used to have that. 
um, in the range it was an in color if you're all about stamping up then you'll know that we have like in colors that come for a couple of years and then they you know leave the range and um, some of those colors are coming back it's really exciting um, and um, Wendy's talking about another stamp set, which I do have, Wendy, but I just, I'm bringing myself to that one too. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I wanted to use this, but I've, I've got bits and bobs of this at this moment in time, and I just wasn't feeling like flowers. Wasn't feeling flowers, so I thought punch art. And, um, and you know, um, I feel a little bit embarrassed that I made a punch art of me. I don't know what to say to you guys. I made a punch out of myself. <laughs> How embarrassing. Anyway, it's pretty cute. Um, and you can change it up to look like you. Um, you can change this punch art to look like you. If you wear glasses and you wear black glasses, you can change it to look like black glasses. If you want to wear sunglasses, you can have sunglasses. If you want to have a little bun on the top of your head, you could pop something like another little, um, another little punch up on top of your head and make a bun or di different coloured hair. This is, it is about me, but it can be about you too. Okay, so don't, you know... Let's not focus in on the, the me bit. But I want to show you how I made it. It's lots of fun. And I think um, punch art is um, just one of those really fun things that is not just for kids. You know, I know a lot of you love making kids punch art. Um, it would be creepy if we're making punch arts of you guys. Oh, maybe. <laughs> um, so it... Um, you know, punch art is not just for kids. You can use this in, because adults think punch art is cute too. You guys think it's cute, right? So um, you can give this for sure in lots of different ways. So even though I'm using the share what you love, um, the statement of the heart uh, sentiment today, we can change, you can change that up as well and put like a happy birthday or whatever. Let me show you the card. Okay, because I think that's probably important bit. I'm going to flip you guys over. I think... I've sorted it. Um, last week I watched back and I was a real, you know, I was fiddling around and nothing was going right. I practiced. I think I've got it right. We'll see. We'll see. There I am on the table. Punch arting. There we go. All right. Look at that. It all went so smoothly. What happened? Okay, so I need just to plug in these finishes because I've put my phone on the wrong side. Oh, not to worry. Um, okay, there I am. Doo, doo, doo. So, cute little punch art gal. We'll just call her gal. But it could be a little bit like me. So I want to share with you. I can't take them off for very long because... I um I can't see, but here are my glasses. So they're um, like a tortoise shell, and they've got this base of this kind of mustardy colour behind them. So I wanted to do some tortoise shell glasses, and I just love googly eyes. Like I just love them, googly eyes. They're so much fun. You could you wouldn't don't have to use googly eyes. You could stick on some eyes, but I just thought googly eyes just make it. A bit more fun and here we've got this fabulous little sign that our girl is holding up here which is the Stampin' Up! Statement of the Heart. Now if you're not a Stampin' Up! demonstrator maybe you haven't seen um, the Statement of the Heart before. Oh hang on am I around the wrong way? That's no good. Oops. Ooh, let me see what I need to do. Bear with me. Hold please. Okay, that's better. Okay, so now you can read it. So this is the Stampin' Up! Statement of the Heart, which is to love what we do and share what we love as we help others enjoy creativity and worthwhile accomplishments. In this, we make a difference. So this is what the company Stampin' Ups, um, you know, it's, it's kind of their ethos about crafting. And I think that for those of you that 
have crafted and joined the company or have been around Stampin' Up! for a long time, you'll, you'll recognise that while we're about crafting, there's actually a lot more to it than that. There's a lot more um, about, you know, making, making yourself feel good by making these small pieces of art and then making yourself others feel good by giving away those small pieces of art and also the friendships and and the fun that you can have by being part of a, a really fabulous organization so that's the statement of the heart now you can actually purchase this stamp set it is an exclusive stamp set that is in the share what you love bundle so there's actually three different bundles, which is pretty cool because there's kind of three different price points as well for these bundles. You get the Just Getting Started bundle, which doesn't have the Share What You Love stamp set in it. It doesn't have that. So maybe you're not interested in the statement of the heart. Maybe it doesn't resonate with you. But um, so there's a Getting Started bundle that is $98.75 in Australia. And then you've got a little bit more please. You get a couple of free items in this bundle. You get one free item in that one. You get two free items in this one. That's $159.75 Australian. And then there is the I've Got to Have It All bundle. You get three free items and you also get the Statement of the Heart stamp set. So that is the, um, the stamp set that we're going to be using today on our cute little punch art girl here. Um, but you could change this up and you could actually have see this is where I don't know why there is some muck there but anyway there is um you could change this up for a little punch out girl saying happy birthday or congratulations or any of that stuff so it's you know there's lots of different things that you could make with this card all right so let me um I can't see your comments. I'm just going to. It's adorable. Oh, good. I'm glad that you like her. She's, she's, you know, she's pretty cute. So let's start off with where I got these glasses from. So it's actually from the stamp set Pocket Full of Sunshine. So if you haven't seen this one, it's in the current annual catalog. Um, but it's also. Um, I can tell you sneakily, I'm pretty sure it's in the new catalogue too, so don't panic. There's also some pretty cool dies that come with this one. So if you haven't looked at this stamp set or bundle before, I can't tell you if it's a bundle in the new catalogue. Often they're not. I can't think. Someone's going to be able to tell me. So if you're looking at it, getting it as a bundle, it might be a good idea to get it now. That's just a little hot tip for you. Um, and oh, all of these things always stick together. Anyways, so you get lots of. Isn't that dreadful? I know you guys are going to tell me why don't I have magnetic sheets yet, Carolyn? You always message me and tell me where you get them from, and I never do anything about it. I'm so sorry. I'm a bit lazy with that stuff. But anyways, um, so we've got this. It, you get a little jeans pocket and you get this little die that cuts out some money so you can put pretend money in the pocket and you you know you can put all sorts of things in a pocket but often what goes in a pocket is these sunglasses which are super cute but I didn't want sunglasses I just wanted regular glasses and then I wanted to make them like my tortoiseshell glasses which I do love myself a pair of tortoiseshell glasses I did try um, black glasses first and that would be okay you could you could do that couldn't you if you had black glasses and you wanted to kind of make it look like you um, but I you know I, I like tortoise shell glasses so that's what I've done so let me show you how I've gone about making those tortoise shell glasses um, no just a bundle in the current catalog and it's separates in the next one all right thank you for that Wendy you are a doll um, so what that's really saying to us is that if you want to get this pocket full of sunshine and the pocket framelit dies and get 10% discount, hey Karen, how are you? 
then you are definitely going to want to buy them this month because they'll be cheaper this month than next month. So you want to be all over that. All right, let's move you out of the way, Mini Carolyn. And I've got a piece of crushed curry um, cardstock here and I've got our wee glasses stamp already on a blog. It's a photopolymer stamp set, which is pretty cool. We all love our photopolymer, right? Um, and I'm just going to get my embossing buddy. Love my embossing buddy. And I've got it in this cute little bowl that I have here on my desk um, that my friend, my beautiful friend Jo made for me. She knows I love all of those little bow, bowls and things for all of my desk knickknacks so she just makes pretty stuff for me she's a potter okay so now I'm going to stamp this is in a Versamark that I've stamped I've got that powder all over my fingers in our glasses so that's Versamark and now I'm going to use white embossing powder so I've got it in a dish and I actually went and bought a couple of pots of white embossing powder recently because I like, I like there being tons in the container. Even though you only need one pot's worth, I like there being tons in there. A bit obsessive about the amount of embossing powder I own. Um, and then we're going to get our heat gun and heat this baby up. Now, you know... When you do it using a heat gun, you want to really heat it up nicely first before you start applying the heat to it. That way when it comes to your embossing powder, it's going to melt it nice and quickly and not warp the paper too much. Hmm. Just a quick sip of coffee there to wet my whistle. Remember, while we're live here, it's a great time to share my tutorial with your friends make sure they know that we're doing some live crafting at the moment it's always more fun um, to see when it's happening and ask the questions live but if you are watching on replay welcome um, I'm still more than excited to get your questions so make sure that you tell me if you've got any questions about what I'm doing or would like to know more So there we go. So that is our white embossed glasses. Now I did try this with a few different a few different ways before I was really happy with the look. Um, I tried it, starting it with white <clears throat> cardstock first, um, using a crust curry marker. I've tried all sorts of things, but I really, at the end of the day, I really liked this version the most. So I've got um, soft suede and I also have early espresso markers here. These are our stamp and write markers which are water based markers and just to make this um, turquoise, turquoise, oh my goodness. Hey April, how are you? So you're late. Oh, I'm sure you were doing something very important. It's probably dinner time where you are, isn't it? Um, so um, it's not turquoise, it's tortoiseshell. So I'm just going to go around randomly. Does anyone else have tortoiseshell glasses or is it just me? Okay, so I am going around randomly because the thing is with my glasses is they are totally random. So they, <clears throat> there is no rhyme or reason with the, with the tortoiseshell bit. And then I've got my espresso. I'm just going to add some more of that in. Dab, dab, dab. There's no, I've got no plan here, people. There's absolutely no plan with my tortoiseshell placement. It's just, every time it'll end up a bit different. You're picking up your oldest. Oh, your oldest was out some, out and about. Now, let me see. I think we might just bring in a little bit more of that one there. So I still want a little bit of that um, crushed curry to show through. Okay. Now, 
sadly, I think I, um, I took out my piece of tissue paper. So I'm using my jumper. Don't do this at home. Have, get up and get some tissue paper. But I don't want to leave you guys alone. So I've just wiped off a little bit of the ink that was on the embossing, um, on the white embossing there because I didn't want that to be tarnished. There we go. Now I'm going to get... That's bad, isn't it, using my jumper? Anyways, I'm sure you guys do stuff like that. Do you do stuff like that too? Sometimes I use my jeans. So I'm now putting the little... Um, a little die for our glasses over the top and I've got a little bit of tape here and I'm going to tape that on this is just regular old tape and I'm just making sure you can use washi tape you can use whatever you like but I'm just making sure that it doesn't actually get on the inside just on the outside there and we'll bring in Bertha big shot she is hanging off here on the side waiting for her part in all of this and we'll roll that through haven't seen Bertha in a couple of weeks so she's quite excited to get a gig back again on Facebook live there we go no one said hello to Bertha yet she's feeling a bit sad Usually someone says hello to Bertha. Come on. Don't leave Bertha hanging, people. All right. So there we've got our little glasses. They're all cut out. What do you think? Do you like our little tortoiseshell glasses? And like I said, there we've got some black glasses. And you can really do them whatever colour you fancy. Oh, someone said hello to Bertha. <laughs> Thank you, Lou. She was getting a little bit sad there for a minute. No one, you know, she feels that she is the star of the show. Bertha, big shot. Anyways, okay, so we've got our little glasses here and now we're going to pop them to one side. I'm going to show you how to do our little girl's face. So I just stepped it out here on some cards, on some paper yesterday. So, well, mostly so I wouldn't forget. But um, so you would also get a little sneak peek of the bits that go into her face or her head so again I've just kind of copied my hairstyle but you could change it up to be whatever you like so I've and you know what I've used Sahara sand for her face I'm not sure that that is the best color actually for her face but it does make a nice contrasting look against the white so um, that's kind of why I use that color I probably I might even um, you could use um, we well, could use your stamping uh, your, your blender bill your blender bill of these your stamp and blends to kind of make a skin color flesh tone with your stamp and blends or you could use Sadly, pink pirouette, which is retiring, you could use that. But um, in today we're using Sahara sand. So I've got my two and a quarter inch punch, and I've punched out one in the Sahara sand. And then I'm, for me, I'm using um, soft suede for the hair, and I'm also going to actually punch out two two soft suede. one will be a little bit wasted but um, that's kind of how I roll so that's for the for the the back of my hair and I'm just going to slice out a little bit so that's for that's my head that's the hair and then I'm going to get my other circle that I've got and I'm going to slice quite a large chunk like so and then I'm going to turn around and slice just a little bit a smaller piece so we've got those two pieces there now this one here I've done with um, the three-quarter inch punch now I am assuming that all these punches are current because I was a bit naughty and didn't check and sometimes I do hang on to my punches Perhaps longer than I should but I do love punches um, so I've just punched out with a three-quarter punch there a piece of Sahara sand for the hands 
Now with the hands what I do is I just cut the circle in half like so and make two little halves. Then I wanted to make a thumb so I kind of just trim in there. Can you guys see what I'm doing? It's nice. Nice and close. Oh, fudge, fudge the dog is having a bark. Sorry about, oh, sorry about that, guys. She's very loud. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm hoping she stops barking soon. Okay, so I've popped in the thumb on that end. And then with what's left, I'm going to find the halfway mark. Halfway. And then again. So I'm making all the little fingers like so. Okay, good morning. How are you, Katrina? Okay, so we've got our little hands here. Well, little, they're mostly fingers, really, aren't they? And the thumb at the top. And I'm just bend back the thumb a little bit. Okay, so it's kind of like if they were holding up the sign like this, right? So that's kind of all of our little pieces we need to make the girl. So I'll pop this up on my blog with the, um, hey Phyllis, how are you from Colorado? How are you going? Um, I'll pop that up on my blog later on today so you can get the sizes and what you need to punch and all that kind of stuff. But let's make up, it's, it's pretty easy actually. I'm, I'm quite, um, it's an easy build. So I'm just going to get my multi-purpose liquid glue um, and let's pop her hair on first. We need the face. Oh, goodness, I've got, some, I've got some real hair on the hair. That's not good. So a little bit of Tombow glue there. And as I said, if you want to make it to look like you, then you just change up the hair a little bit, right? That's all you need to do. Yes, all current punches. Wendy's like my um, PA. She is the best. Thank you, Wendy. You're amazing. Okay, and I've just crossed over there to kind of make a little, a little part in the hair. I might bring it down just a little bit because like so. And then I'm going to get... Hey, Janice from New Zealand. How are you going? All right. And I've got to get a little bit of Winker Stella because you know what? You cannot have. Can you have enough Winker Stella? I don't think you can. I think that there is never enough Winker Stella. Um, and it kind of made, instead of um, drawing in highlights or anything like that on the hair, it made the hair kind of a little bit stand out like so. Yeah. Can you see that sparkle? And then we're going to bring in a little bit more Wink of Stella down here. This is the bit that you'll kind of see. I'm not going to bother doing all of it in Wink of Stella because you won't see all of the back of the hair. Okay. Remember, if you're watching at the moment and you're watching live, it's a great time to share the video um, and tell your friends that they can come and watch live crafting too. Okay, so that is... Kind of the the hair like so. I've got longer hair, but you, you can't see that behind the sign, so I'm not going to get too fussed on that. But like I said, just keep changing it up. Hey, Letitia, how are you? Just keep changing it up until you are happy with the result. Stampin' Dimensionals, because you just want the, you know, the head and the hair to kind of look a little bit like there's a bit of depth on that. You'll be glad to know that I've ordered packets of the large dimensionals because I only have the small ones left. And I love the small ones, but I really I really need the big ones back in my life. Okay, so here we've got the hair. I'm going to do it like so. Okay, so there's the little head. It's coming. Oh, you know what I've forgotten to do? Bother, I haven't, I've forgotten to do the little lips. I'll show you how to do that too. So on the, um, on the pocket full of sunshine um, stamp set, you'll see that there is this tiny little heart down here. 
and I'm sure you can use that for lots of different things but I just thought that's awesome lips little hearts are great for lips so that's what I'm going to do I've got my real red Stampin' Right marker you just can paint that direct to the stamp which is tiny but it's on there and then we just need to stamp it onto our lass here even though it's got the dimensionals it still should work there we go little heart mouth then you get the journaling end of your stamp and write marker and you're still going to do like a little smiley um, arc through the love heart like so and that is the lips right that's super easy and if you just go over the top of it then it will blend in a little bit more again wink of Stella because I love it and who doesn't like gloss lipstick right you want to make that happen now let's get on her glasses gosh she's so cute with the glasses all right let's do that and I like them to kind of come a little bit oops I need to do it on the side a little bit like so a little bit of fiddling around luckily with Tombow glue you get a little bit of time to fiddle before it dries right <laughs> just it makes such a difference putting on eye and putting on glasses doesn't it oh my goodness okay and so now we've got um, we've got our little googly eyes like I said if you wanted not, if you don't have googly eyes or you don't love them like I love them then that's cool you can just um, you know punch out some little black circles and stick them on but I do love googly eyes and you can get them really anywhere can't you I think we used to sell them but to be honest you can get googly eyes anywhere you can do that um, okay all right now I like to have the eyes I've just put a little glue dot on both sides I like to have the eyes pretty close together not that I feel that I have my eyes pretty close together but I just think they always look cuter when they are close so I took oops oh, she was eyeless how's that mm, her eyes are one eye is shorter than the other okay there we go it's adorable <laughs> she's pretty cute makes just eyes eyes all it is is eyes and a mouth and that's that's my face if only when I was putting makeup on that's how quick it it worked I would love that because it's so putting makeup on is so boring it's super boring okay so now I've got the little fingers and I'm just going to do I don't actually have red nail polish on but I would like to have red nail polish on so I'm going to do that um, little circles at the end of her fingers I'm not going to bother with the thumb because you don't see that you could do like semi circles if you wanted but I figure out that the circles are actually just fine okay so that's a little bit of nail polish again I wish that my nail polish was that quick if I if my nail polish was that quick to put on I would wear nail polish every day and then a little bit of Winker Stella to make them look stand out all right so we're going to pop those elements to one side and work on our little sign I've got a piece of black cardstock it's only a, a wee piece it is let me get my little trusty tiny ruler it's eight centimeters by five and a half centimeters we're going to make it you could make this I did make it a white sign if you wanted to make like a white sign if you had a colored background say if you were using I did contemplate using mint macaron and I think the white sign would look good with the mint macaron but um, I'm going with a chalkboard because I I do all of my um, photography on a chalkboard so it kind of it made sense for me to be holding a chalkboard okay so 
a little bit of the embossing powder again and we have our statement of the heart stamp set now again this one is you can only find this statement of the heart stamp set in the share what you love suite it is only available in the gotta have it all bundle so if you love this this suite is only going to be available with three free items in it that's the top of the range suite three free items till the end of this month um, a lot of the items will then go into the big catalogue but not this stamp this one is exclusive so you'll if you love it you'll want to get it how do you get it Carolyn I hear people shouting hey Amanda how are you lovely that you could join you can get that by heading to my blog carolynbenning.com and then you can get one of those head to my shop my online shop and get one in your hot hands and it'll be shipped to you here in Australia you have to be living in Australia unfortunately to shop with me um, but you could move to Australia if you weren't here we would be happy to have you um, so you have to be here in Australia but you, it gets shipped to you from Sydney so it's super quick like if you're worried a lot of people go to me Carolyn you don't oh, I don't live close to you can I shop with you um, yes the answer is yes you can if you live anywhere in Australia you can shop with me you can join my team you can be a part of the Midnight Inklings you don't have to live um, close by that is the beauty of the internet and um, you know our online shopping just love it okay so I've just popped a little bit of our white embossing powder on there and um, I will just heat gun this I'm going to use my tweezers because it's getting super hot so let's have a look now can you see how the cardstock is bending when applying the heat? I'll show you a little trick in a minute. I might have shown you this before, but I will just show it to you quickly again. Before I get to that trick, let me tell you one thing. Car embossing, right? There's a couple of different things. Just slow down with your embossing. That's what I've got to say. People, they emboss, they're like this. They're embossing, they're crazy with their embossing tool. Just slow down. You don't have to move fast across your embossing. You just sit there and you can watch it. This is the joy of embossing. You watch the colour change from a dull colour, which is the, which is the um, powder, to you know, a really bright, vivid white. Um, and just you know one word at a time one part of the image at a time and move it slowly around you know you want to keep moving it but just move it slowly okay it won't bubble it won't burn your paper believe me if you just keep it moving but nice and slow right. now heat it on the back a little bit if it's warped because it will kind of help the cardstock you know bend forward a little bit and not be quite so warped okay all right so that is totally heat embossed now it is nice and um, dry and we're going to get our craft white ink out because even though it does look like a blackboard my, my my mat looks dirty I'll give it that it does look like a blackboard just having a little bit of white you know with a duster you put the white on when you, when you're dusting now you just need to dab it into your craft white ink it's an opaque ink so it's the difference between this ink and all of our other inks is that this one is an opaque pigment ink so it doesn't it it won't fade away onto the black like um, our water inks would now I've used this yesterday and I just want just a little bit of white I don't want it really bright so I'm not dabbing it in again so you know if you have a, a stamp and dauber that you have set aside for your white which I'd very strongly suggest that you do um, just see if there's enough white on it when you pick it up to do a blackboard technique rather than um, dabbing the white 
in because you might find that it's just too bright, it's too much white because you just want it to look like that a, an eraser has gone over the back of it. Okay, so is that showing up? I think it is showing up a little bit. It looks like you've had the erase, the school eraser. If only they, they, we don't actually, we don't know who uses school erasers anymore. Right? It's all whiteboard and electronic whiteboards. Okay, so once you've got the white on there, I just usually go over it with a cloth. I don't have a cloth because I threw all mine out in my excitement of cleaning up for today. But um, yeah, and I used my jumper before. So I don't want to do that again because my mum was watching a minute ago and she might tell me off. Um, but um, I'm just joking. She was watching, but I don't know whether she's still watching. Are you still watching, mum? I saw you. I saw you. Okay, so here we've got some piece of thick white cardstock. I've actually uh, – what did you oh, – Jill. Jill's like, I'm late. What did I miss? <laughs> That's so cute. Um, so I've got a piece of thick white cardstock. I it was a it was a full piece, but I've cut it down the centre, which is ten and a half centimetres. If you're a centimetre gal, um, and then I have scored it halfway in the middle. Here in Australia, our measurements are a little bit different than you guys over in the northern hemisphere. So um, bear with my centimetre centricness because I love centimetres. It makes so much sense. Work in tens, people. Um, then I've got um, my little hands, oh, those little, that actually, the wink of Stella, that works a treat. Now I'm going to pop on shiny nails, so cute. Um, I'm just going to pop on a tiny little dimensional on the back of those nails, back of those hands, sorry I'm so focused on the nails because they're really pretty. Do they, do they nails show up? It's looking super duper pretty. They are. Okay, so I've got um, I've got the backing off of that one. Now we just have to remember that the thumbnail goes up the top. So I'm going to we've split that. I've got the little dimensional so that we don't want the thumb to fall off. That would be bad because I've got all my thumbs. And now we're going to... Pop this one on like so. I put, could have put the dimensional in a slightly better spot. Okay, there's the little hands. Doesn't really look like hands until you put the rest of the the body with it. But let's. So that's the sign, and that's our little head or my little head, like so. It's coming together. Now I wanted to wear, um, like have something to show that I've got kind of some clothes on. <laughs> now if this was me, it would be black jeans, but it didn't really, it didn't really work with my, what I had going on there. And I really wanted to use some of this gorgeous paper from the Share What You Love suite. Um, I'm just trying to remember. It is called Share What You Love Specialty Designer Paper and it's got such pretty colours in it which I'm all about, the mint macaron and some super cute colours. So which which dress should I be putting on, do you think? Should I put on this one with the flowers or this one with the leaves? I want you guys to vote. You love it? So it is a, so adorable. So which one? Leaves? Or flowers. I'll take the the first two people that say the same thing. Black jeans would work with your white. It's I think so. I agree. So Lou is saying flowers. Amanda's saying flowers. Janice is saying flowers. Everyone wants flowers. Oh, Sherry wanted leaves. Oh, you love the flowers. Okay, let's let's do the flowers. All right. So I've got. I've actually used. Am I shouting today? Oh, I'm sorry if I'm shouting. Um, I'm excited about this. So I actually used my circle my nesting circle dies because I just wanted a, it had to be a bit larger to look like a skirt I used the larger one Phyllis is saying flowers Vicky saying leaves I had a couple of leaf people um, so I actually cut out a piece of this designer series paper with my largest circle die like so this is a little bit um, it's going to be a punch out, Amanda. Oh, I could, I could do your hair, Amanda. She's trying to work out how to do crazy curly hair. I love Amanda's hair. It is so pretty. 
I could definitely, I'll show you how to do that in a second, Amanda, I reckon. Um, okay, so um, yes, so I've actually cut it out with that because I didn't, I think they should bring a really big circle punch in to the range because I just love um, that, you know, I love the ease of cutting out my circles with a punch. I should tell stamping up that. Though, because I'll listen to me, surely, surely. I'll go, oh, Carolyn wants a punch, so we'll make one. So I'm just sticking that in the corner. And maybe I've had too much coffee this morning. That could be it. I don't know that I cut that very well. You know the good thing about using the edges is that if things don't work out great, you can just go in with your snips and hopefully not stuff up the whole arrangement. Right, there we go. So that's kind of like a little skirt and then I'm going to cheat and I'm going to, no one's going to really know if it's a skirt or not, right? Because I'm going to stick this big board, saves having to make a lot of clothes for your, for your little girl or for your Carolyn, depending on what you're making. It would be weird if you guys made Carolyn's. Maybe not. Maybe it would be fun if you guys made Carolyn's. Okay, so I'm now popping on the head. I kind of, I liked it a little bit curved like so. Let's do, stick that on with some glue. And now I'm going to pop like that. Okay. Ah, fabulous. Tilting. There we go. How's that? You know what I might even do? I might just, with this little love heart, let's give it a little bit of Wink of Stella just to make it stand out. There you go. That is that is our wee mini Carolyn. Super cute. I think I've got all the bits. Did I get all the bits on it? I did. So that is, that's just how you can make pretty quick, cute punch art. I think it's all about the eyes. It's all about the lips. Don't draw noses. Noses never work out. I, um, <laughs> yeah, yes, I have a lot of me. Noses never work out. Ne and ears, well, ears can work out, but noses, I just think you should stick away from them because on punch art, it always looks a bit weird. But there you go. So super little cute punch art. Mate, now, I was going to show um, Amanda how I thought you could do her hair because she's got gorgeous curly hair. I think that I would just do the little um, whatever colour you wanted and then I would do circles like so. And just keep doing little spiral circles and that would show eventually when you did enough of them. Can you see? That would show little curls around. I would give that a go and see whether that works. But that's the fun of it, isn't it? To make it kind of look like yourself or to make it look like the person that you're giving it to. And, you know, you, it's you know it's like when you're a kid and you would have paper dolls and you would dress them up and make them um, look different. So that is the fun of that. Okay, I'm just going to flip you guys back so I can say adieu. And there we go. So, I'm back. I love paper dolls too, Amanda. It was obviously clearly something was in my stars. Um, so, there we are saying goodbye to you guys. After the delay. <laughs> we are saying goodbye to you guys today. Thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. And um, I will um, make sure you head over to my blog later on today. I'll have all the details and the bits and pieces involved in making this little punch art gal. And um, I'll be, um, I have to think about something for next week now, won't I? Oh, lovely as a tree, maybe. Goodness. <laughs> all right, my beautiful people. I will see you again next week. Pretty sure I'm back next week. Yep. And um, have a fabulous weekend. <laughs> Bye.